This is Guns Knives Watches. And people ask me, you know, some about some of my shooting system all the time. Well, this is part of it. These are the tripods that I actually use out in the field. Now, if I'm going to be filming, of course, I'll use a Manfrotto tripod. But if I'm going to be shooting, I use a PRS tripod. Now, this is Precision Rifle Solutions. Um, what they do is they basically take silk tripods and they come in three different lengths. You got your shorty right here. Um, you've got a medium and you've got a long, a large. And then they manufacture these rest heads to go on it. And these are made out of um, machined aluminum. Of course, there's pad there. And then they make the covers in your color choice. You know, just depends on what you want. Of course, you can see we have three colors in front of you. And, you know, the silk tripods are actually known uh, kind of in the industry as a very high quality, low cost option. They're most known for being light and durable. But that lightness comes into play. When I'm working out in the field, I hate to sit there and say this. I don't want to be carrying around a big heavy tripod. That's just the way it is. Um, I've started using these things and they have lived up to everything that everyone's ever said about them. Now, they come in two different flavors other than the tripods, just the rest. They have an SSP-1, which is a more narrow rest for most rifles, and then they have an SSP-2. To get the exact specifications, you're going to have to go on the website, take a look at it. For most of my shooting, I use the 1. Uh, for more of my, some of my precision rifles, I use the 2. Uh, it just depends, and you're going to have to kind of, kind of figure out what works for you. Um, they use a basically ball and lock setup on the silk tripods. They have other sets up, setups, but this one is just very durable. Uh, it's very light. It's very small. It's very compact. Uh, these are four. The large are a four-piece tripod. And uh, you know what can I say? They just work. Uh, we've had a lot of these uh, short ones right here uh, that have been in kind of in service, and they've actually outlasted the Harris uh, bipods. Now, I'm going to throw in a side note. If you're going to do a Harris bipod, get a pod lock for it. The pod lock is removable. You can put it back on this, that, or the other. Change it from tripod to tripod, or bipod to bipod when you break them or what, when you change them. Um, but it's, it's a heck of a thing for tensioning the back of one. Of course, I've got a LaRue um, mount on here to go on a Picatinny rail, but that's just because I've been uh, shooting that off, with an, off a, an AR-type platform. Uh, what else can I say about these things? The other type of tripod that I use, and both of them will do similar things, is a Manfrotto 190 X PROB. Now that's a three-piece Manfrotto. It's not as small as the other one, and it's made out of aluminum, which means it's not going to be as light as the carbon fiber ones. It has a ball head on it. Um, that, you know, is very easy to operate. That's my more heavy tripod. That's when I need to do heavier things, uh, like teach someone how to shoot a precision rifle. When I'm doing that, I'll, I'll use a hog saddle. This is not something I would recommend the average person to have. I have to actually show people sometimes how to shoot. And I feel much better when it's locked in here. Uh, the Marine Corps actually uses this same exact setup. This is the, the military version of that with an with a aluminum nut on the side of it, as opposed to the polymer one on the civilian one. Uh, but both the Manfrotto and the Silk tripods will all go flat. And uh, what do I mean by flat? Which means they won't just kind of angle out. Oops. They won't just angle out like a normal tripod. They will actually go flat. Now, the Manfrotto has a system to where, you have to excuse me, my phone. The Manfrotto has a system to where your main, tu your tube right here, your extension, eh, your extension tube will actually come up and go sideways. That's not the case with the silk. The silk, you have to have a shorter tube. 
uh, and they come with the shorter tube and it's just a short little tube on there and you can lay these things flat and they work really well uh, to be honest I mainly use these in uh, you know kneeling setting uh, standing type positions so I have uh, just for the ease of adjusting the height I keep the long tube on these I'm not saying that I haven't used it the other way but that's just the way I mainly use these uh, if I'm going to use a, a short one I'll just stay with this little shorty and a little little thing will you know it's just kind of cute um, but it's also very durable very strong uh, they're aluminum tubes uh, you can compress it down to where it just gets a little bit smaller uh, why that much would make a difference I don't know <laughs> but it might in your kit any any time you can uh, make it smaller is, is better but you know it's got a little suction cup in case you uh, you don't know, have to rest it on top of a car or something like that but that's just the way it works um, of course all the heads are quick release and that's the standard uh, silk quick release type setup I showed you the the uh, actual the one that manu that is manufactured by PRS precision rifle solutions and uh, I would always recommend getting one of these extra. It's just the handiest thing with pocket on a shirt. I mean, it just really is. You can put this on your spotting scope, have that on your rest, and go from using this as your spotting scope when you're out hunting or doing something, um, and then easily switch over to your rest. It is a hell of a lot easier uh, than just sitting there holding a rifle and da 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 da. Uh, I'll show you I'll show you my spotting scope of course this one's set up to actually right now be on the Manfrotto uh, this is a loophole of course um, and it is a uh, this one of course has a reticle in it that type of stuff but it's it's for ranging uh, I use the uh, it's just the way it works uh, you you use the kit that that works for you uh, these loopholes are very compact they're very small uh, they are not the cheapest thing in the world, these marks, but uh, but they do work. And for that small, light, and compact a package, they have about as good of optics as I've been able to find. Uh, now, if you want to go higher than that, that's great. Um, they have a lot of, of very high-end spotting scopes, but I've never been able to find something that's as small, compact, and as light as that that has as good of optical quality and is as durable. It's the same thing with these PRS systems. Uh, you know, Precision Rifle Solutions have been doing this for a minute and uh, they aren't, aren't new to the game by any stretch of the imagination. They've been doing this for a second and I would definitely recommend them uh, to anyone. They're not the cheapest thing in the world. I think what you'll find out is the uh, if you just buy the heads, if you have your own tripod the SSP2 is going to go, which these are the SSP2, the wider ones, they're going to go for $57 a piece. And the SSP1 is going to go for $48.95. So if you already have a tripod, these are still good rests to actually use. Uh, this is kind of overkill, uh, at least in my book it is. But Sometimes, you know, I've got smaller people. I want to try to show them how to shoot precision rifle and get them f to, to feel it. And it takes quite a bit of time. You need to actually shoot off a tripod a few times to actually get the hang of it, figure out the setup, and get the feel for it. How to actually, some, you know, take the sling off, off the back of it, wrap it around the tripod leg, grab it, and then twist and get it to lock in. Um, where your legs are positioned are very important. How you do all of this is very important. And, uh, you know, what else can I say? It's, uh, it's a skill all on its own. It is way different than shooting off a bipod or off any other type of rest. But if you, you know, there are a lot of people that, you know, will improvise a lot of different rests. This is my go-to of choice, you know. You don't have to damage anything. You don't have to, you know, this, that, or the other. And you can create a rest out in the middle of nowhere. 
if you're out in the middle of a field in Kansas in a blind, you can do it. <laughs> and if anybody knows out in the middle of Kansas, there ain't nothing. It's flat, you know. Why Dorothy wanted to go back there, I have no earthly idea, but because, uh, <laughs> you know, that tornado picked her up, there was a reason. Uh, it's because it's, it's flat. A lot of Kansas is very, very flat. But anyway, this is Guns, Knives, Watches. I was just raising the hills. I'm a little hillbilly, so flat stuff starts bothering me. <laughs> this is Guns, Knives, and Watches. Have a good one.